Yoku here with a little cosplay update. Um, I wanted to first start off by saying hi to everybody. I haven't been in touch very much in the last couple months. I graduated from college. Um, I got a, started a new job. There's just been lots going on for me and honestly I haven't touched my sewing machine since before SakuraCon so I'm really behind schedule. But for the last month, I've been going through my room, my life, kind of trying to sort everything out and set it up so I can really have it as a studio space, which I'm super excited about. And yesterday, my father helped me move a bunch of the furniture, and so now it's all set up. So I want to start off by giving you guys a tour of what you will start seeing and expecting. So stick with me. Um, first off, behind me I have a wig and hat rack. This is also my new desk area, my sewing machine, I have a bunch of cosplay boards with business cards, pictures people have drawn of me, there's Cosbox, there's some Wheel of Color stuff, um, a lot of old badges. My mannequin is now over here along with a nice light source. Behind me is some boxes of fabric and Umaru stuff. I'm super excited to work on those hoods. Over here is more storage space. Um, I have my sewing box down there as long as my wig stuff. These are some projects to be worked on. I now have a really nice rack where I can put costumes I'm currently working on as well as costumes for display. Um, I'm starting to put prints and stuff up. We got some Jessica, some Nibu cosplay, Dust Bunny, all the fabulousness. Down here is some of my May stuff. And then over here is more storage. Um, my wigs are currently here with my wig heads. And then more supplies. We got foam, miscellaneous patterns, projects. So this is going to be a really great space that you guys are going to start seeing a lot of. I'm very excited because it's hard to tell, but there's tons of floor space here. So I can really just lay out my mat and my cutting board and just go to town on it. Um, before I was working in a really cramped space with my bed, but now it's really separated so my parents have the ability to use this as a guest bedroom as well as me for a studio until they move out in about three years. So super exciting. I want to touch base with you guys on a couple other things. First off, um, I'm currently six cosplays behind where I said I was going to be and where I really wanted to be at this point. Um, I have two May outfits. I have the bunny suit May as well as swimsuit May, which my glasses came in. Super excited. Over here is going to be the wig I am going to use, which needs to be styled. Um, and then I also have three Umaru outfits. I have her school outfit. I have her hood and I have her UMR. I have miscellaneous pieces ordered for all three of those, as well as working on sewing and putting them together. The Umaru hoods are gonna be first. I'm gonna make them for all the girls. My friends are gonna model them, and there's gonna be a full tutorial accessible by everybody coming out for that. Um, I wanna work on my Terra Online costume. That's this wig right over there, that really pretty blue to white fade one. I've been collecting a lot of supplies for that as well. The biggest thing holding me back is the prop, um, which I have the PVC pipe and some foam as a base, but I'm going to have to invest in some warbler, which I haven't used before. But I did just pick up an industrial heat gun the other day that works that I'm really excited about. I'm also going to be working on May for PAX. It's going to start in August, and I'm going to be making 76 for my boyfriend to take to PAX as well. Um, there's going to be some future things. Rose City, you should be expecting a bombshell Wonder Woman. I might also be making Eritrea from the Shannara Chronicles. I need to touch base with my group for that. So there's going to be a lot going on. I'm going to try and bust a lot of these out as quickly as possible, as well as some miscellaneous side projects. Mostly because I've already been hoarding the materials for so long that a lot of it I already have. 
Um, so be excited, be watching my social media. Instagram, I'm by far the most active on. Facebook, I share the most tutorials, things I find, things that are cool. So it's more than just my content being shared there. Um, Tumblr, I only reblog on. I'm not. Instagram does it for me. Occasionally I check it, it's very rare. Um, but yeah, those are the things you should be expecting. So I'm gonna do the Amaro Chan hoods first and release the tutorial for that. After that, I'm either gonna be working on Bunny Suit May or Swimsuit May, because um, those are for Anime PDX, which is the 6th of August if you're in Portland. It's a cheap little fun day, one day con. There's a cosplay contest I'll be competing in. There's a swimsuit contest. I don't know if I'll be competing in, um, but it'll be fun. Then I'll probably be busting out Umaru's to do shoots for. And as promised, I have lots of followers, um, over 500 on multiple social medias now, and I wanna do a giveaway for you guys. So let me know what you think of this if you get this far into the video. I want to offer an Umaru hood for the grand prize winner, and it will be in a color of their choice of the fleece I have left over from the other ones. Then I want to also do prints, a set of three prints of each of the Umaru outfits. So her hood, her school uniform, and then UMR. And I think that'll be really fun. Second place winners will probably just get the prints. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do for third place. And I'm hoping I can toss in some fun Wheel of Colors things as well for them since I am a primary ambassador for that. Speaking of which, if you're going to Anime PDX on August 6th, um, look out for some posts for us from us because we will be giving away free We Love Colors products as well as cosplay bags and stickers. It'll be super cool. So last but not least, I am behind on my Patreon. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this. The spring, there was a lot going on. My father was hospitalized several times. Um, I was finishing up school, which was a big deal. Um, since then, in June, I really just wanted to bust out cosplays, but I just it just really didn't happen where my life was. Um, so I am behind with Patreon. And um, I wanna apologize to you guys. I owe you two cosplay workshops, which I am very aware of. Um, those are going to be done and busted out here very soon, now that my studio is set up. Um, one of them is gonna be the pattern making and modifications. I'm gonna do that when I put together May's bunny suits so you guys get a real full on experience of working with a pattern, what it starts and looks like, and then as I modify it, how it's gonna become, how you can really make it your own. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for the second workshop yet. I'm gonna have to really dig through some of my workshops and take a look. I'm thinking maybe photography to prep people for Anime PDX, but both of those will be out by the end of the month. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I'm also gonna be offering uh, for every tier level you are, an additional entry into the contest I'll be hosting for as a thank you for my Patreons. And I've been looking into potentially doing other cool things. So like the $5 rewards. Anybody else who follows Martin Wong, he does, it's kind of hard to see, oh, she's blocked. Um, down here is Jessica's postcard, but he does postcard prints. And I think those are super cool. So even just sending out something little like that, which costs a little more for me, but it means a little more to you guys, um, you know, of my new costumes I'm putting out. Um, at the same time, I'm looking to do new business cards, but I really want to finish some of these new costumes to really showcase them before I do go print more. For sure, there's going to be Power Girl on my new business cards. I'd really like to put Umaru on there, and I'd really like to put one of my May costumes. Um, We'll see. I'd like to have those printed before PAX to hand out. But between now and PAX, the cons that I'm looking at are for sure Anime PDX. I have the time off. Everything's good for that. And Kamori Con Light, which is at the end of the month. Um, more details on that will be coming soon. As I said, watch my social media. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate your continued support. I really value your thoughts and opinions. Um, I especially value interaction on social media. I do post a lot. Sometimes I kind of just spam it all out there and then I go weeks where I post very, very little. But I look at every like, I look at every comment, and I really, really do appreciate it. And it's very motivating for me. So hopefully you guys are as excited about what's coming up as I am. I'm 
super excited. I finally got to sit down and do this video and start expecting a bunch more content from me. And I'm super excited. Yay! <laughs> Bye!